So we hooked up the voltage controller to a 12 volt battery and the electric motor here so I can show you how it works. We're going to plug this in. Now that we have, I'm only running 12 volts on this motor so it's not going to run at its full speed, but it'll give you a good demonstration on how it works. We have our little switch right here. It clicks on and as you turn it up you get more and more speed out of it. Now it'll be a lot faster when we have that hooked to 24 volts. Uh, we're also going to install a dead man switch which will be an intervention in between the battery and this control board. That way if I fall off the bike or we have to hit you know have to stop really quick, you know, we'll have something and we can just kill all power immediately. Because uh, using this is probably gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I would recommend and I'll post in the uh, in the description window some actual scooter controllers. Uh, they use like it's called a Hall Effect throttle. And uh, you can get those for I think it's about 30 bucks, 40 bucks. For the controller and the uh, the throttle itself, uh, I ordered this because I could get it in two days and it was only twenty dollars. So, and if we don't, you know, we decide we want to move up to a different controller. Hey, I'll have another cool uh, voltage controller sitting around that I can use for other projects. But with this hooked up the way it is, we just have that running against the wheel as it's running against the wheel, and it will be propelling the bike. And there's some pretty good torque in that.